Hey you guys, it's Diane with Pretty Fun Stuff YouTube channel and today um, I have a project share for you. This is going to be a design team project for Photobella.com. Uh, I have used the Simple Stories Simple Vintage Ancestry Collection. Uh, so this is still available at photobella.com. This is all the little cut aparts that come in it. Uh, it's a really beautiful collection. I have it all cut up. I did get the 6x8 paper pad too. Um, these are the scraps I have left in addition to these few little scraps. So I really, uh, use this collection um as uh, quite a bit i also was provided by photobella the uh 12 by 12 basic kit and it comes with these solid colors six papers and um those are used up too this is what's left of the sticker sheet um so i mean i might be able to piece together a few cards maybe with what's left um i also received the bits and pieces this is what's left of that very little there's some hearts left so i could use for valentine's day i guess um this is what's left of the decorative brads and what i notice uh what simple stories is doing on their brads instead of having the metal on the back it's just a sticker on the back and i found that works a whole lot better because you get the look of the brad but it's really a sticker and you don't need a hole or anything to put the brad in so and you don't have the bulk of the brad on the back so it was perfect. These are the little chipboard pieces that were left um, from that. And then this is the pieces that were left from the big chipboard that I received. So with the stickers and the chipboard and a little bit of paper I have left, I might be able to do some cards. Um, also, what was provided to me was the chipboard frames i did use some of these i will use these in the future these are great for shaker cards perfect for shaker cards so i will definitely use those i just didn't use them and i i used them in my project but um i didn't use them up and then the only thing I really didn't use were these stickers they're layered stickers they're very cute I love the dimension on them. They were just a little small for the project that I was doing. So I would use these probably on little uh, A2 size cards um, as a focal. Uh, so I, I, I could still use those on a few cards. So we'll see what I can come up with with uh, those. Um, also, I received the 4x6 stamps. Love these stamps. Uh, super cute. Of course, I will use those again and again. The other product I used on this kit, uh, this little uh, item I made is the Graphic 45 regular tag. I just used the tag. I didn't use the um, the gears guy, uh, gears die, but I did use the tag. So this is also available at Photobella. So there you go. And I did use some, uh, flowers and some ribbon from really reasonable ribbon. And I used some, uh, shaker mix and a few other items. So this is my project isn't that pretty it's a little folio i have a shaker card it's kind of sticking a little bit let's see so there we go super cute little shaker it said no measure of time with you will be long enough and so this is one of the chipboard frames and then here are the little brads 
and I used some gears from my stash. Um, some little flowers I got from Hobby Lobby. A little key. This is from the chipboard piece uh, pieces. Real, really reasonable ribbon, flower from my stash. This is uh, some corner um, embellishments from Hobby Lobby. So that's what I did with um, this collection. I love the blue. Here I put, uh, let me measure this for you. Um, it measures, the top measures about six by seven and a half. The spine is three fourths of an inch. And here's the back. So I love that um, pocket watch uh, paper. And then turn it this side. And there's the other side. So let's open it up. <clears throat> and here we go. Isn't that cute? So I decorated this. I had to keep it kind of flat because, of course, it's up against this pocket side. Um, so, again, I used some of those little flowers like I used on the front. This is just from the paper collection. I just kind of did a little collage just as a chipboard piece. This is the Graphic 45 tag. So, um, you can put a picture here and then journal about it on the back. This is just a little... Um, photo mount so I figure you could put a picture here and journal about the picture at the bottom and then of course there's some from the paper family is timeless use some lace from my stash this is for sticker from the sticker sheet so these go in there and I could put more in this little pocket um, later so then this opens up like this so So there you get the whole little folio. So this I made like a little flap closure. This was one of the ephemera pieces and I glued it on a piece of chipboard and then cut it out and inked the edges so that it would be a little thicker. This is a chipboard piece on that side. So you open up the middle and it is magnetic. Open it up. There's another little ephemera piece there. This is from the solids sheet. Open this up from the die cut assortment. This is from the paper collection. So this is opened and you could put a little, let's see, here. You can put something there. And I left this plain. You could, I could put a picture here and I probably would do that. And that opens up. You could put a picture down here. And then this is a waterfall. So, of course, you saw me do this. And then I used the solids here um, on the waterfall. So you see all the solid uh, papers. So, and then some of these are opened for more pictures. Okay. And then that's the bottom. All right. So that is that. So I like that little waterfall in the center of the little gatefold. Kind of, well, I don't know if that, the flat fold. Anyway, so that goes like that. Then on this side, open it up. And then here's another little tuck spot there. And then this opens up. There's a place for a picture. And then this opens down and there's a place for a picture. And I believe that is not open. That is a sticker there. And then of course, <clears throat> here is a little tuck spot with some ephemera cards there so there you go and that is my little folio 
so you guys thank you for joining me today i hope you like this little project i hope you're inspired and uh, be sure to visit photobella.com be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and you will get ring the little bell and you'll get notifications of when i have other videos that are out thanks again for joining me y'all have a great day bye bye